Hola chicos y bienvenidos a la lección sobre los verbos reflexivos. This lesson is all about reflexive verbs. So um, I'm going to recycle a video that I did once upon a time when I did some podcasts. So I'm going to take chunks of that, put it on here. You can watch that, then I'll have some closing comments at the end. So here we go. Let's get right to that other video. Today we're going to be tackling reflexive verbs. Now we've talked a lot about verb conjugations in the present tense, but now we're introducing a new type of verb, reflexive verbs. In Spanish, much like English or any language, we often do things to ourselves, grammatically speaking. For example, I bathe myself, I wake myself up, she hurts herself, he cut himself, we dress ourselves, etc. We call these actions, these verbs, reflexive verbs. And reflexive verbs must be used with a reflexive pronoun in order to indicate that the subject is performing the action of the verb upon itself. Reflexive verbs exist in English, but they are much more common in Spanish. Reflexive verbs usually have to do with parts of the body, clothing, or one state of mind. You can recognize reflexive verbs in the infinitive form by the say that's tacked on to the infinitive. So here are some common reflexive verbs that we're going to be discussing in this chapter. We have acostarse, acostarse, that se is the reflexive pronoun, acostarse altogether, to go to bed or to lay oneself down. Afeitar, to shave, afeitarse, to shave oneself. Bañar, to bathe, bañarse, to bathe oneself. Cortarse, to cut oneself. In this and since we're going to be talking about cutting hair and cutting nails. Despertarse, to wake oneself. Dormir, to sleep. We've learned that verb before. Dormir is to sleep. But when we add a reflexive pronoun, it kind of changes the meaning. Dormirse means to sleep oneself. Well, that doesn't make much sense to us. But that's what we use to talk about to fall asleep. Dormirse. Uh, sentarse, to sit, to sit oneself. Sentarse, to sit oneself down. Vestirse, to dress oneself. Okay, so those are a few very common reflexive verbs, some that we're going to be talking about a lot in class. And there are two separate tasks when we conjugate verbs. Okay, first, we already know that we can't just say, for example, yo cortar, we've got to conjugate the verb first. Yo corto, I cut. Well, what do I cut? Do I cut the grass? Do I cut the vegetables? Do I cut the lettuce? Do I cut the meat? Well, if we want to say, I cut myself, then we use the reflexive pronoun in there. Yo corto. Well, that se, at the end of cortarse, has to be converted or changed into, uh, just like the verb, into a form that matches the subject. Well, it just so happens that the reflexive pronoun se changes to me in the yo form. So yo me corto, I cut myself. Okay, and if you want to say you cut yourself, tú te cortas. Let's look at the verb ducharse now. Ducharse, to shower oneself. Yo me ducho, I shower myself. Tú te duchas, te means yourself. Él se ducha, he showers himself. Ella se ducha, usted se ducha. Nosotros nos duchamos, vosotros os ducháis. Ellos se duchan. Okay, so those reflexive pronouns, me, myself, te, yourself, se, himself, herself, or yourself in the usted form, nos, uh, ourselves, os, uh, y'all's self, and se, themselves, or yourselves. Okay, so now that we have a quick little review of that, um, let's do a, a couple examples. Let's decide if these... Uh, translations are reflexive or not, these English phrases. I wash the car. I wash the car. Would that be reflexive? Would you say, lavo el, yo lavo el auto? Or would you say, yo me lavo el auto? I wash the car. No, it's not reflexive because you're not doing it to yourself. You're doing it to your car. So it would just be, yo lavo el auto. Or, yo lavo el auto. Now, of course, some places say, carro, coche. In this case, we're just saying auto. Okay, let's look at another one. I take a bath. Yo me baño or yo baño? Is it reflexive or not? 
Well, I take a bath, you're doing it to yourself, so yes, it's reflexive. Yo me baño. Now you can simply say me baño because there's no question about who the subject is. Me baño, yo me baño, it's the same. Okay, here's the, our last one. Juan goes to bed at 10 in the evening. So does Juan lay himself down at 10 in the evening? Is that reflexive or not? Well, yes, it's reflexive because he's doing it to himself. So it would be Juan se acuesta, two words there, se acuesta a las 10 de la noche. Okay, now I'm going to say something in English and then I'll say it in Spanish and leave it a blank. You try to fill in the blank with the correct reflexive pronoun. So, for example, if I were to say, you take a shower, it would be tu blank duchas. Tu what duchas? Tu te duchas. Okay, here we go. So, Maria washes her hair. Maria lava el pelo. Maria lava el pelo. It would be Maria se lava el pelo. You all wake up, using the ustedes form. You all wake up. Ustedes despiertan. Ustedes se despiertan. Okay. Um, there are plenty of exercises for you to do on these, plenty of websites out there to practice the reflexive pronouns. But that's just the quick nutshell version of them, is that they're actions we do to ourselves and we use reflexive pronouns. Now just a little side note here, these reflexive pronouns sometimes get used a little too often in English. You might notice that your friends sometimes might use myself instead of I or me. Myself in English is a reflexive pronoun. Remember, you can't say contact myself via email. You have to say contact me. We don't use the reflexive pronouns unless it's an action being done to yourself. Okay, and there's your little nutshell of reflexive verbs. We'll do a little bit more with class. I'll create another little practice video with them, but that's your nutshell of them. Those of you that are my students, stay tuned because I'm going to give you three sentences to take from English into Spanish as part of your homework. Uh, but that's, that's all for now as far as the instruction, homework coming from my students. Ciao.